All right, so um, we've got a whole stack of research here all about AI and call centers. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're not talking about those, like, robotic voices from way back when. Right, right. This is AI that can, like, understand us and help those agents solve problems faster. Yeah, absolutely. Even coach them to be better, you yeah. know. Yeah, what's really interesting is that AI is really tackling those classic call center pain points that we all know. Oh, yeah. Like long wait times, frustrated customers, agents struggling to even access the right information. Ugh. Yeah, we've all been there. Right, and the exciting part is that the solutions are actually improving the experience for everyone involved. Okay, so let's start with that traditional call center experience because we've all been there. Yeah. Endless hold music. You get bounced around different departments. You got to repeat your problem over and over again. Oh, yeah. It's the worst. Not fun at all. Not fun at all. And that's exactly where these AI applications come in. Okay. Take Google CCAI, for example. Yeah. It's all about omni-channel support. Okay. I saw that term in the research. Yeah. What does that actually mean for the average person? Imagine you're trying to get help with your internet service. Oh, okay. With CCAI, you could start by just texting a question. Okay. And then you could seamlessly switch to a phone call with an agent. And later, you can even continue that conversation in their app. Wow. All without having to repeat your issue. So CCAI, it's kind of like the conductor of an orchestra. Yeah. Making sure all these different channels are playing in harmony. That's a great analogy. It provides this really consistent experience regardless of how the customer chooses to interact. I like that. And it uses these AI-powered virtual agents to handle simpler requests. So these are the bots taking over the world? Not exactly think of them as highly efficient helpers that can handle those really basic tasks. Oh. Like resetting passwords or checking order statuses 24-7. Oh, so that means no more waiting on hold for ages just to get basic information. Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. And then there's observed AI, which yeah. is all about analyzing conversations to uncover insights. Right. And here's a specific example of its impact. Observe. AI actually found that agents who used positive language in the first minute of a call oh. had a 20% higher resolution rate. Really? So it's not just about analyzing data. It's about using those insights to improve agent performance and customer satisfaction. So it's like AI is giving these agents superpowers. Yeah. Helping them understand what works and what doesn't. Absolutely. And they're not just analyzing words, right? Yeah. They can also detect tone of voice and emotions. Exactly. Observe. AI can pick up on those really subtle cues that might indicate frustration or confusion. Wow. And this real-time analysis allows agents to adjust their approach, provide more empathetic support, and even prevent a situation from escalating. It's like having an emotional intelligence coach right there with you. Right. And this data can be used to coach agents over time, helping them improve their skills. Absolutely. It can identify patterns in conversations, yeah. highlight areas where agents excel or need improvement, and even offer personalized coaching tips. So Observe.ai, it's kind of like a virtual mentor for these call center agents, uh -huh. constantly helping them refine their communication and problem-solving skills. Precisely. And then we have Core.ai, which takes a different approach by empowering businesses to build their own AI solutions without needing a team of programmers. Right, the no-code platform. So what does that actually mean? Is it like building with Legos? It's similar in that it provides a user-friendly interface with pre-built modules and templates. Okay. And this makes it much easier for companies to create their own chatbots and virtual assistants customized to their specific needs. So they can essentially tailor their AI experience yes. without needing to know how to code. Exactly. That's pretty cool. And then there's Salesforce a company that's really serious about AI yes. with their platform called Agent Force. Right. Agent Force is interesting because it uses autonomous agents, which work behind the scenes handling those routine tasks like yeah. data entry scheduling appointments or routing calls to the right department. So it's like having a team of invisible assistants taking care of all the tedious stuff. Yeah, exactly. And this frees up human agents to focus on more complex issues, build stronger relationships with customers, and really dive into those situations that require a human touch and critical thinking. Makes sense. Now let's talk about ClareBridge, which was acquired by Qualtrics. Yes. This one seems to be all about understanding the customer journey and turning feedback into actionable insights. That acquisition really highlights how important AI is becoming for understanding how customers interact with businesses. Oh yeah. ClareBridge's platform analyzes feedback from emails, social media, call transcripts, online reviews, everything. Wow, that's a lot. It's a data gold mine for companies looking to improve their products and services. That is a lot of data. And what does this kind of analysis actually tell them? 
By understanding the why behind customer feedback companies can make more informed decisions about product development marketing and even customer service training. Okay. They can identify areas where the customer experience could be improved and take action to address them. So it's not just collecting feedback. It's about understanding what that feedback means for the business as a whole. Exactly. Pretty powerful stuff. And then yeah. we have Call Miner, which also analyzes conversations but takes it to another level, Yeah. what man. sets it apart. What's remarkable about Paul Miner is that it analyzes 100% of customer interactions. Wow. That's every single call, chat, email, and social media message. This gives them an incredibly detailed picture of what's happening in the customer experience. That's a lot of data to crunch. It is. But I imagine it gives you an incredible understanding of what's happening in the customer experience. Absolutely. What can companies actually DO with all that information? It helps them spot trends, identify emerging issues, and even predict future customer behavior. Wow. Imagine being able to anticipate what your customers are going to want before they even know it themselves. <laughs> okay. That's pretty mind-blowing. Yeah. But it also makes you think about the ethical considerations of having that much data, right? Absolutely. We need to be mindful of how this technology is used and ensure that it benefits both businesses and customers. Okay. So we've got this whole ecosystem of AI tools all working their magic in call centers. Yeah. But what really stands out to me is that it's not just about efficiency. Right. It's also like empowering these agents to provide like better service. Absolutely. It's almost like giving them a superpower upgrade. Exactly. Think about what we were talking about with Agent Force. Yeah. By automating all those like mundane tasks, mm. it really allows agents to focus on those human centric skills. Okay. Empathy, critical thinking, building genuine connections with customers. It's like they can finally just focus on what they do best. Yeah. Like solving problems and yeah. making people feel heard. Absolutely. And no more getting bogged down by data entry. Right. And that shift has this ripple effect on the entire customer experience. All right. When agents are less stressed and more engaged, they're just naturally more capable of providing that really empathetic and effective support. Happy agents, happy customers. Okay. I like it. It's a win-win. It is a win-win. And then we've got the power of AI-driven insights. Yeah. Platforms like ClaraBridge and CallMiner are giving companies like this unprecedented understanding of their customers. It's like they're finally seeing the customer experience through a clear lens, you know? Right. In the past, companies relied on like surveys and focus groups for feedback. Yeah. Which only provided a really limited perspective. Yeah, because people don't always remember every detail. Or, you know, yeah. they might not feel comfortable sharing their true feelings in a group setting. Exactly. But now, with AI analyzing every interaction, wow. businesses have access to this wealth of unfiltered data. Okay. They can see what customers are actually saying and feel, revealing their true needs and pain points. So it's like having a direct line into the minds of your customers. Yeah. No more guessing games. Right. You have the data to back up your decisions. And in today's rapidly evolving market, that kind of data-driven approach is absolutely crucial for staying ahead of the curve. Absolutely. Customers' expectations are constantly changing. Yeah. And businesses need to be able to adapt quickly to meet those demands. Right. And AI gives them the agility to do just that. Exactly. So it's not just about improving the call center experience. Mm -hmm. It's about giving companies a competitive edge in the marketplace. Absolutely. But, you know, with all this talk about AI, I, I can't help but wonder about those other tools we briefly mentioned. Yeah. What about Nuance Communications, Zendesk AI 5.9 Talk Desk and Twilio Flex. Yeah. What are they bringing to the table? Well, Nuance Communications is a leader in speech recognition and natural language understanding. Yeah. Their technology is actually powering a lot of the conversational AI that we're seeing in call centers. So they're kind of like the voice behind the AI, yeah. making those interactions feel more natural and human-like. Exactly. Then you have Zendesk AI, which offers a whole suite of AI-powered customer support tools. Oh, wow. Their focus is on automating tasks, providing self-service options, and really empowering agents with real-time insights. Okay, so they're streamlining the support process. Yeah. And making it easier for customers to get the help they need. Exactly. Whether it's through a chatbot, a knowledge base article, or an interaction with a human agent. Right, and Five9 is another major player in the space, focusing on intelligent routing and virtual assistance. Yeah. Their platform helps businesses optimize their call flow, ensuring that customers are connected to the right agent at the right time. So no more getting bounced around different departments yeah. or waiting on hold for ages just to get to the right person. Exactly. It's all about efficiency and a smooth customer journey. Absolutely. And TalkDesk is another company using AI to really 
enhance that call center experience. Okay. They're focused on sentiment analysis, which means their AI can detect the emotional tone of a conversation oh, wow. and alert agents to any potential issues. So it's like having an emotional intelligence radar. Right. Helping agents navigate those tricky situations yeah. and provide more empathetic support. Exactly. And finally, we have Twilio Flex, which mm -hmm. is a programmable contact center platform. Yep. What sets them apart is their flexibility businesses can customize their platform to meet their specific needs. Oh, wow. Integrating with other tools and building really unique workflows. So it's like a blank canvas for building your dream call center powered by AI and tailored to your unique business requirements. Exactly. It's incredible to see how much innovation is happening in this space. And it's only going to accelerate from here. Yeah. As AI technology continues to evolve, we can expect even more sophisticated tools and applications to emerge further transforming the way businesses interact with their customers. It's exciting and a little bit mind boggling to think about where this is all heading. It is. But with all these advancements, we have to remember to keep the human element at the forefront. Absolutely. At the end of the day, technology is a tool. Yeah. And it's our responsibility to use it ethically and thoughtfully. Right. AI should be augmenting human capabilities, not replacing them altogether. So it's not about AI versus humans. Right. It's about AI and humans working together to create a better experience for everyone. Precisely. We need to focus on developing AI systems that complement human skills, create new opportunities, and ultimately improve our lives. Okay, so we've explored all these amazing AI tools individually. Yeah. But how would this like dream team of AI assistants actually work together in a real call center? It's fascinating to think about, right? Yeah. Imagine a customer visits a company's website and starts interacting with a chat bot that was built using Correa.ai. Okay. And they need to reset their password. Uh -huh. A pretty simple request, the chat bot can handle it super swiftly, guides them through the steps without any human intervention. So the customer gets instant help. No waiting on hold. Right. And the human agents are free to focus on those more complex issues. Exactly. Everyone wins. Everybody wins. What happens when a customer calls in with a more complicated problem? Okay. So let's say someone is having trouble with a product they recently purchased. Okay. As they're explaining the issue to the agent. Yeah. The call miner is quietly analyzing the conversation in real time. Wow. It picks up on keywords, emotional cues, and if it detects any frustration or anger, it can, like, alert the agent. Oh, so it's like the agent has a secret weapon. Yeah. An AI-powered radar. Right. That helps them understand the customer's emotional state and adjust their approach accordingly. Exactly. At the same time, Observe.ai might be providing the agent with relevant knowledge-based articles or even suggesting responses based on the context of the conversation. So it's like having an AI whisperer in their ear guiding them towards the best possible solution. Right. And all this is happening while Agent Force is working behind the scenes, updating customer records, scheduling follow-ups, handling all those routine tasks. This AI-powered call center it's like a well-oiled machine. It is. Working seamlessly to provide like a smooth and efficient experience for everyone involved. And this is really just a glimpse of what's possible as AI technology advances. The lines between human and machine intelligence are just going to continue to blur, creating even more amazing possibilities. It's both exciting and mind-boggling to think about. But, you know, with all these advancements, we really have to remember to keep the human element at the forefront. Absolutely. Technology is a tool. Yeah. And it's our responsibility to use it ethically and thoughtfully. Right. AI should be augmenting human capabilities, not replacing them altogether. Absolutely. Yeah. So as we wrap up this deep dive into AI call centers, yes. I think the key takeaway is this. AI has the potential to completely revolutionize the way we connect with customers. Mm -hmm. But we have to approach it with that human-centered mindset. Absolutely. Prioritizing empathy, fairness, and the well-being of everyone involved. Couldn't have said it better myself. The future of AI is in our hands. Yeah. It's up to us to shape it responsibly. And on that note, we'll sign off. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this exploration of AI and call centers. Yeah. Keep asking questions, stay curious, and we'll see you on our next deep dive.